In this video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominators. That means that they're fractions with the same number on the bottom. Let's have a look at adding up 3 sixths and 2 sixths. Here we have the same denominator. We have sixths. So, if we look at this on a bar model. That's our whole and we split it into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. Now if we have three sixths, I'm going to colour them in blue. There we go, we've got three sixths. Now if we add to those three sixths, two sixths, we have our total here. Now you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five sixths. So our answer would be five sixths. Now you can see here that the denominator doesn't change, just the numerator. It's just the number at the top of our fraction which changes. We can see that again. If this time we look at adding two sevenths, add four sevenths. Again, I could draw this out using my bar, using my bar, so I've got my whole, my whole. If I split that into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts, Two sevenths, I can draw on my bar. So we've got two sevenths. And if we're adding four sevenths to that, we end up with one, two, three, four, five, six sevenths. Again, the denominator doesn't change, just our numerator. Right, now let's look at subtracting fractions. If we're looking to subtract, if we have four fifths and we look to take away two fifths, of course, I can draw this out again using a diagram using bars. Dot our hole like this and we split it into one, two, three, four, five equal parts. And to start with, we have four of them, four fifths. Now we're taking away two fifths. So I'm going to take my blue pen and just cross out two of them. How many fifths do I have left? I have one, two. So my answer is two fifths. And just like with adding fractions with the same denominator, our denominator doesn't change. It's just our numerator. Let's have a look at this again with one final example. This time we can look at three quarters. And we're going to take away one quarter. Again, I can just show this on bar. I've got my whole and split it into four equal parts. So I've got quarters. And this time I've got one one, two, three quarters. Now I'm taking away one quarter, so I want to cross out one quarter. So that makes two quarters. I have two quarters remaining. For those of you who'd like to simplify that, take this a step further. That would can be simplified to a half. Do you see you've got half of your whole here now um, selected, so it's a half. But that 